Hello folks, thanks for watching me. It's great when you can use new ideas, work as a professional or as a DIY enthusiast. With good techniques, the right tools and creativity, you can save time, money and do jobs that last much longer. As I work with Capture, sometimes I learn new techniques, find better tools and create useful device. In this video, I will share some of these techniques, tools and device with you. Remove the old paint that is partially loose with the wire cap brush. For example, if you have to repaint a deck, instead of sanding or using a, a regular manual scraper, using the wire cap brush will be faster and you will not damage the surface that you have to be repainted. If possible, especially when you're doing a floor, use a vacuum while you are remove the old paint so the job stays clean at all times. Use this chain with a bucket. They come, these ones, they are heavy duty, they come with a, a spring hook in each side. It doesn't have to be so heavy duty to, to do a construction job, but this is good enough to pull a car, strong enough, heavy duty. So when you go up the ladder, you use this. Put you put your tools inside, you look on the ladder, it will save you a lot of time. If you have to go down, you keep your tools up there, they will be safe, they will be solid. So it's a good idea as well. This is a line level. This one is from Instabilia, but there are other brands and they are good to level long distance. You check the two points, mark and snap the line. That line is going to be 100% level. If it, for example, you're doing side in, in your wall, but if you're doing the floor to check if the floor is level, you just use this level too. Use a, a line like this, right? So you use a piece of tape like this on both sides so it won't fall. So it's a great tool to have. And when you finish, you put in a plastic jar, like I put it here now with paper towel inside of it to protect. If you use 10 times, put it 10 times back. If you use 20 times a day, every time you put it back. Don't leave it, because you can step on it so small, cease to get damaged. So this is a great tool I highly recommend you to have. Let's go to the next one. Use this tool from Craig's tool to rip plywood, rip any board. It rips from inch and a half to two feet. It's uh, very easy to set up. If you have, for, for example, 40 inches, this is 40 inches. You have 20 inches, this is 20 inches. If you want to rip more than one board, all you have to do is clamp them together. It's going to do a perfect job every time. It's a very good tool to have handy. This guy, everybody knows, but it's a good thing. Sometimes people know, but they don't use it, don't take it to the job. It cuts up to 40 inches and cuts less than an inch and a half as well. I would say from quarter inch 14 inches this one I check so it's easy to storage depending on the job this is the more appropriate the other one is faster to get the numbers after you get you want to set up you everything set up to get all the numbers that you let's say you have 14 inches you have two inches you have 16 inches the other one you just click that thing 
it, you already ready to cut. This one takes a little longer, but depending on the job, this is the best one. So it's good to have the, these two handy as well. Depend on the job, especially depending on the job. This is a thermometer to be used especially for carpenters when you have a, to glue your plywood you need the glue ready in the winter so you put in a box this thermometer with a heater or even a hot light it will keep the, the glue with the right temperature to be used underneath the plywood so it's a good thing you don't have to improvise you use the right tool at the right moment. So it's not expensive as well, costs around $30. It's good to have this, especially if you have big jobs, you always have that issue. Okay, this is a good tool as well. This is a timer when you have to charge your batteries, especially. You don't wanna, you wanna that your battery, your batteries, all your batteries, they last much longer use this timer it will turn off your program let's say for half an hour for one hour for two hours you in this one for example there are eight settings and you can program the settings for just one day in the week weekends weekdays two days a week a lot of different settings and the eight settings each setting a lot of different ways to, to program and make sure the tutorial when it sets off it's programmed right because you may forget to do it right it will for example you put to start today and you forget to, to put it to turn it off today let's say it's today is Tuesday and you forgot to put it off you put it Monday so it will be the whole week on Monday it will turn it off so you have to put it right every time make sure you don't make this mistake this is a small scale replica of a screen to protect from the heat from outside and the cold from outside as well you keep your heat inside the house in the winter and you keep your air conditioner more efficient when you put this in the window you can remove it, it's easy to remove is to put it back, is for storage you can use this plastic here that you can buy in lots of places lots of hardware store in the internet and you can use this plastic here as well with this tape it has a better price of course but much more accessible I have a, a video showing you how I made this screen I use staples here in the video I show you everything and this is the real size screen that I use in my window so it will save lots of money you can use this for decades the same one with the same plastic you don't have to redo every year so it's a good idea to have as well as you can see in the video I chose a straight wood it makes all the difference with one 2x4 I made 12 pieces like this and each piece in my case I could make one window with two pieces like this one for the side and one for the bottom you can make less pieces with one 2x4 so they will be stronger I rip the 2x4 starting from the middle as you see now these are the six pieces that you still have to rip each one of them the last time so it's gonna be 12 pieces total I already measured all the windows and I, I'm cutting the angles in one by one as you see now now I'm nailing two pieces together not the four pieces just two pieces twice 
and they're gonna check if they they're gonna fit nice because the the windows are not the same size and after I do that I check everything is okay I nail the whole thing the four piece together you have to put the plastic but I started with the biggest window this is important to, to notice and makes a difference if you make a mistake you, sh you can cut if it, you start with a small one you cannot use in the bigger window now I'm measuring the plastic I cut a little longer in this case I use staples but you can use the tape like I showed you so this is it that's what I want to show the video that I want to show let's go to the next one this is a technique so let's say you, you wanted to unscrew I screw that you can't grab it anymore with the, the Philips screwdriver or even with a flat screwdriver or even it's a I screw like this with an X head so it's not possible anymore because it's it was damaged you can use a blade like this make a cut and use a flat screwdriver if it's rust you put some WD-40 to smooth the rust a little for like 10 minutes some of the rust will come out wait 10 minutes and try it if it's a big bolt or a big screw you can make a hole the head of the bolt or the screw it's a big one you can try that as well but if let's say there's a bolt and there's a, a nut at the other end you want to put it back you can make just a hole in the head of the bolt and use a pin punch with a hammer hold the, the, the nut here at, the, at this end with a wrench and spin it so it will come out like that this explanation seems so simple that's not so important but sometimes this can make a lot of difference this simple explanation that I will make if you want to carry weight let's say this uh, everything here has the same weight there's not a, a side that is heavier so four guys carrying this two guys carrying each side the side that is lower is going to be heavier and the side that is higher is going to be lighter and if these two guys they go towards the center even if it's level they're going to carry more weight if they go here they're going to carry practically all the weight these two people you not carry almost nothing because they are in the center so keep that in mind especially if you carry less weight this side let's say this is lighter anyway there's less weight this side don't lift this up you can put it down to help these guys here if you, you can come to us to the center to help these people to carry less weight because this side let's say this side is heavier right so to help these people you go to us the center a little bit but don't lift it up because these people will get hurt there will be chance that they will get hurt because of that simple thing that was not thought about before so keep that in mind it's very important safety right there are a few ways to describe we have to make nice cuts you have to put a, something on the corner that has to be perfect you can use this tool this is a good tool one of the best probably the best depending and you can improvise with this for example i think you have some idea how to use it if it's a big spot you can make it longer there are other ways as well one that will use a pencil a compass and there's a that way too there's a little block that you can use with a pencil but I would recommend you to have a tool like this as well. This is a good tool to have. When you have 
a small depression in the cement and you want to make a flat floor, cement floor, you need to level with the level, but some depressions, they are like, let's say, three quarters of an inch. You don't want to use a lot of level, you can use gravel number eight to save even cement you use more gravel just to level before you start in the job before you start putting or even laminate floor use gravel to help you to save in material gravel is almost free so it's a good idea to have that in mind if you have a gate that is leaning over like this like this right this is the post or even two gates they are doing like this both of them so they are not closing properly there is a solution that may solve the problem forever good you put something that is impermeable on the top soil, right? It has to have a, a small pitch, like 30 degrees. So it could be like three inches, four inches on the highest point. Like this you make, not exactly like this. You're gonna cut four pieces, four pieces around 18 inches or two feet each side 18 to two feet a small pitch 30 degrees I think will be enough and you put it over here you're gonna have to take the post out compact the ground put the post back on this, the right position probably you're gonna have to lift the post to the right height and compact the floor nicely and put this and the, your post will not lean over anymore because what was making it lean over was when it was raining the soil would become soft the soil is soft it will not hold it on the right position so this is a good thing to have in mind. If you already have it, you can fix it very easy. You don't have to pay anybody to fix it. People, they try to do lots of things, but they don't put the post on the right. They don't lift the post again. They don't put it in the right position. They try to do different stuff. This is the right thing to do. You don't have to touch anything else. Just do this, put the, the post in the right position. Put something that will keep the soil from gravity wet so it will not get soft anymore if the soil is dry it will not be soft anymore it will be always hard like you just compact it at that time if you take this out even after rain a lot of rain you take this out you see the the soil is 100 percent dry underneath so this is a good idea to have in mind too and the material that you're going to use, I would suggest you on the post an eco friendly material. Cement board, I think, would be okay. You can, oh, I, I use plastic. Okay, if you want to use plastic, a hard plastic, okay, you can use plastic, but I don't recommend. Try always to use eco friendly material. Plastic is not eco friendly. Everybody knows that, right? So another idea, cement board or any material that is impermeable around the house, two feet wide around the house, especially if your basement is smelling like mold, there is some humidity get inside the basement. You do this, it could be the highest point, it could be like four inches down from the top soil and the 30 degrees it doesn't have to be 45 degrees 30 degrees will be okay the water has to run this way 
this will prevent if it's a new house to prevent your house from sagging the foundation may sag some foundations they sag so the whole house leans a little bit off level so this will prevent that from happening if it's happening already you fix that you can lift the whole foundation it's a little expensive but it's what I don't know, but some people they don't lift the whole foundation, they just lift the the beams. They and put something underneath the beams between this foundation and the, the beams that hold the house on top of the foundation. But if your house is sagging already, you put this, it will stop sagging. You put this uh, especially in the side that is say but it, the whole house if there is no cement anything like that already it will prevent that from happening from keep happening it's a good thing to have in mind as well always try to use eco-friendly material it's much better you never make a mistake when you do it eco-friendly. And the, if there is a gutter in the down spot, and in that area, it, the down spot is too short. You put an extension of the, in the down spot. You can put the extension underneath the soil with some gravel. Or you can put the same thing beginning from the wall and like let's say four feet long this one is going to be a little longer but like this so the water will go this way with a little pitch as well right you're going to use a little pitch so the water will go down so that will prevent the water from going towards your house both ways this will be not visible nobody's gonna see and do, do the job probably the same way the same efficiency okay folks these are the techniques the tools and the device that i told you i was going to show you there are many more but for now these are enough so you can use them as much as you want i hope they will help you in future projects hopefully i see you in the next video